Are you a racist? You can't call me or any black person any place in the world a racist. We don't have the power to do to white people what white people have done to us. And even if we did, we don't have that low down, dirty nature. So do you believe there are any good white people? If there are, I haven't met them. Where are they? hello 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 my good people this is your boy golden boy and today we are having another video which is very very interesting about this lady some of the, some of it they saying that uh, uh she she's she's second mandela uh she's second malema she's one who who who, uh, who can help uh help fight this thing called racism now in this video you'll find that uh, this lady is, was being asked, was being interviewed and was asked that uh, do you think that there are white, there are good white people st who still exist in this world and she abruptly said that no they don't exist now do you agree with the lady the way she's she was being uh, she is, is she being sarcastic or what do you think now to my to my probe to my findings i've realized that uh, most the european people most the white people uh, they don't intend to help you in a good will and if they intend to get to help in a good will then they are targeting something else from you now there's a lot of racism which i think you people should know that it exists the racism exists in in this world and i'm not going to lie to you that it doesn't exist now there are uh, there is a, a thing that i thought that uh, you people should know that uh, as much as you think that uh, racism is it doesn't exist outside uh, america then you are really really wrong it is some it is a disease that i think we should get rid of it as soon as possible otherwise people will keep on getting divided keep people will keep on getting oppressed especially to the black people but before that i, I want us to also engage in this uh, in interview another interview which she was getting in, uh, engaged and uh, yes i think i will learn something from this video then i will g come back and we discuss as much as possible then uh, we we com you comment and give what you think about this video excuse me senator bradley of the all-white united states senate said we can't get there unless we all go there together sorry none of us are where he is that's number one Number two, you're making an, a moral appeal mm -hmm. to a country that doesn't have a moral conscience. Right. The question becomes that when white people feel serious and angry and upset about abortion, they come out in the thousands up to the millions to say, this is what we believe about abortion. Where is the white outcry against white racism that murders African folk all around this entire globe? It doesn't exist. So who are these white good people? I want to meet them. I want to I see know them. I, I, will, I know it was you. not enough. But that's why and, and, that, that and, might be all we can get. Uh, you, no, no. And guess what? I don't work with all I can get. Just what I work with is what I have. Listen, you have to have some confidence yes. in, in the power of African people amongst ourselves to establish a foundation. We have. I mean, no, we have it. We have, we have utter chaos in our cities, and you've got There's to no black that. We you can build? have a program. I can I'm not saying we've built a lot of institutions sure. and those institutions have not been effective. The majority of millions of African youth in this country are dying mentally, dying spiritually, dying emotionally, dying academically. And you may have a program, Mr. Brown may have a program, but what we got to talk about is an American government that tracks millions of African people who don't go to your program, don't go to Brown's program. Millions of African people, not only here, but all around the world. And if we are not honest enough to say who are our friends, who are our enemies, to know what a friend is, to know what an enemy is, we will constantly be trying to get into people's parties, to shake our butts with them, to get them to like us. And that's not the question. The question is, what can we build amongst ourselves to secure ourselves from our enemies so that we will be able to survive into the future? Excuse me. 
Now I hope you get the point of this lady. Uh, you'll find that uh, the white Europeans or the white people usually uh, have a tendency of changing other people's culture. Now in the Bible, the Bible says that uh, abortion is an abomination. A abortion is a crime. And uh, you'll find that many doctors will come up with a, a specific reasons why you should do abortions. The same same way to marriages. Uh, in cult in Africa, we usually believe that uh, polygamy is, is something that is very beneficial. Now, they came with the Bible, and the Bible says that uh, polygamy is not allowed. And many African people have turned around and said that uh, doing a polygamy is very, very wrong, which to myself, I believe that it is not something that uh, it, it is it is not something that has effect. Uh, you recently see that uh, there there has been riot in some of other countries that they believe that uh, 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 polygamy is something that they need. Uh, it's something that it is their right because uh, many ladies right now they are being are multiplying in the world and they are coming many of them, which means that uh, few men are. Are being born daily so it means that they want men to marry at least four five ladies in a marriage but because you believe that uh, anything the white people say is always correct it is the same same way that our culture is usually getting eroded in most of the time now I, I I don't want to say much about the white people also I want to say about the religion now uh right before then there was uh there was no religion uh many people were having their gods many people were worshiping uh different types of god now not not to be specific uh not to be uh, too angry uh, to make someone angry but i want to talk about uh if you come to african villages if you come to african houses you'll find that they have a cross that is of a white european now you you also know that jesus was black jesus came from africa and many people have said that jesus is white jesus is white now that if you put a black cross in your house it has many wrong it uh, it makes it makes uh, you feel bad that jesus can't be black the same same way uh, people worship in churches people long time ago people were worshiping in shrines i'm not saying that you people should not worship in in churches and you know that very well that right now the churches have become a, a business centers uh, many pastors are becoming rich many pa pastors are using bible in the name of uh, they are using Bible so that they can satisfy their needs. There are many pastors who have uh, big houses, who have ha who take their children to big to international schools. Yet, is people called uh, cows? Uh, they, are, they are being called sheep. They can't afford even a meal. The same same way, these sheep can't afford that school that the church has built. Now you can imagine how these people are trying to ruin uh, people's culture. Now, I'm not trying to say that uh, it is being it is bad to go to church. It is not bad. It is it is it is not against your will. You can do anything you want. But I'm trying to say that uh, as much as people are saying that there is no uh, colonization, people are being colonized even to the mindset. People are being told that do this, do that, do this, do that. Uh, look at the food people are eating. Look at the food people are eating. Right now there is something called GMO food. People are not even talking about it. And uh, it is being introduced to market centers slowly by slowly. If you come to, if you find some videos and in uh, European countries or in the uh, Western countries, you'll realize that people are not are not happy with this GMO food. Because, reason is because it has health issues. But do you know what? The, the, Afri the Western leaders are being sarcastic. They are saying that this food can make you become fat, can make you uh, not have uh, diseases, can make you to become very healthy. And 
No, this food are not making people to become the way they are saying. This food are bringing us most of the diseases. To be specific, cancer. Many out countries are really crying, and many people. If you go to the supermarket shelves in the, right now in the Western countries, you'll find that many people are buying a natural food. As much as these food are very very expensive, but you'll find that someone will afford to buy this natural food. In short, what I'm trying to say that uh, Western culture has made uh, many people to have bad mindset, has corroded many cultures, just from right from half to down it does make many cultures to believe some of the things that i think even the, in the community people don't believe now look at the lgbtq lgbtq people are believing that uh, when you have uh, this with the same person it it will it will at least make you a uh, Somewhere, somewhere. Now, if you go to churches again, I'm going back to the churches, you'll find that the Pope recently introduced a LGBTQ such that people can get uh, can get married in those churches. That is Catholic. I'm not I'm not going against these guys. I'm not going against but you can imagine is this thing that that uh, Jesus was that the Bible is against. Uh Sodom Sodom and Gomorrah, did you do you know about Sodom and Gomorrah? Uh, these are the things that are uh, made that times the people to suffer a lot because that city, uh, that town, people are doing many crimes that was against God's will. The same same thing that will happen to us if we go against God's will. Right now, people are getting blindfolded in many times, and right now, racism is something that is the it is a disease that is it is used is a weapon that is used to divide many people. Uh, when you come to the privileges, uh, the black people believe that if I become a white person, I have many privileges because now white is the supremacy. It is a supremacy. Now take a look at uh, when these white people, Europeans or any person that is white, comes to Africa. Uh, the black people will tend to worship these people, tend to believe that these people, uh, they have, they are being protected by the government. These people have some benef some beneficiaries that as Africans, as black people, don't have. You can imagine how this thing has brainwashed many of us, and you don't know, you don't know how these people usually suffer when they're at their countries because uh, there's high living standard of living. Many are living in the streets uh, and which they tend to rent houses or they tend to rent a room that they can stay overnight. Then at the, at the day, they go and roam around. Now, here in Africa, these things are not happening. It is this. It is in this reason that I'm trying to say that a, a black people should have power. The moment you get united, the moment we get into a, a position that we can help to challenge this white supremacy, then I'm telling you the truth that we will conquer the world and will be able not to subdivide uh, as the thing is uh, when you go to other uh, I have come to the estate uh, people are living alone people are very lonely because they fear that uh, uh, because there's an introduction of guns people are protected by are having guns and that is used for protection that means that there's a lot of gunshots there's a lot of gun killings in up, upper countries which are uh, they are not shown in the media there's a lot of crimes which are not shown in the media but do you know what they usually show bad side of the black africans they say that the black americans the black the african americans are usually bad people are usually the people who has a lot of crime scenes are usually the bad people who don't follow guidelines of the westerners who don't have uh, in short these people are usually oppressed usually oppressed to a level that they feel depressed they feel that they want to move to africa they want to find the original roots and this is why this channel i made it for you so that we can help find the solutions on how to conquer this thing called racism i, I want to take you back to calendars calendars i don't know if you know about calendars uh, right now, if you go to Ethiopia, if you go to most of the Arabic countries, most of the Islamic countries, they believe that Christmas is not is not even in the Bible. Okay, twenty fifth has is some 
is a is a is I met someone uh, and it, it was telling me that 25th is a day that there's someone who was being removed in prison and it is it is all about Catholic something Catholic there so there's someone who was uh, was being worshipped is it a pope or what I don't know but they say that this on that day it is the day that that person was uh, was removed from prison right after he was supposed to be sentenced for life but uh, because they went to the court and tried to solve his issues then the court pardoned this guy and he was removed in prison and it is because of this day that uh, he was removed uh, that people tend to celebrate this day now they made it uh, an official event now the african people took it and say that no we should also ce celebrate it because the bible was written and written and written written someone wrote it translated wrote it translated wrote it translated it has no meaning oh i'm not going against the bible i'm not going against the bible right now believe you me but i'm trying to say that the Bible was written by so many people that many people there are a lot of missing things, and it is it is believed that the Bible, uh, as in when it comes to black people, black society, there are some of the omitting history that is there. Now you have to believe that long time ago the Bible had seventy two chapters, not sixty six. So you can imagine those uh, those uh, other chapters. Where did they went? To, where did they go to? Where did they went? They go to. Uh, uh, I don't want you to feel that I'm I'm trying to turn into Christian, but that is something that I think that I thought you should also believe in. You should learn. If I am wrong, you can also tell me. And now I'm I'm co I'm finishing this sentence by saying that did you learn something in this video? Did you find this video so interesting, or did you uh, have something that you can add to so that you can comment? down below now i'll just wish you a happy new year and uh yes have a happy new year merry not merry christmas but have a happy new year so that uh you have you be, you achieve what you never achieved last year